Take a little bit. I'm gonna try to stay inside of a Sterling Circle. He dodges gun. And it's a MiG-29 SMT. And you can already tell by my position and the amount of speed that he has that we are gonna have a very easy time. If you play against people that know what they are doing and it's maybe a 1v1, there is very little you can do. Luckily 1v1s don't really happen because... Well, you always have six enemies that are blue ready to shoot you down. And in this case, he is two kilometers behind me while I'm shooting at someone two kilometers ahead of me. So we open the chat, we wish him a Merry Christmas, we wish him the best life ever, and I hope that he succeeds at everything he will ever do in his life. Because that's the only thing we use a chat for. It's definitely not a talk successful, only positive vibes down here. However, it really isn't that great to play. You just run out of energy and you don't have the trust to get out of the situation. Now luckily, the F4S doesn't flare in the head on, the MLD slams into the ground and now I only have to deal with the second Bukaki party. So we go into the terrain, we dodge some missiles, guy on the right, two guys on the left, we go up over the noses, but I can already hear you saying, but it's a ground pounder, it's not an air to air fighter, you are playing it wrong. And yes, you are correct. But that's what we do on the channel. Missiles will be able to carry your plane for you. The main strength is of course 16v16. There's people absolutely everywhere and there's a very big chance that whoever you are launching at either doesn't know how to defeat the missile or they straight up don't see it because they are occupied with 12 other people directly on the screen. So it's very likely that people just get missiles out of the Let's play a little bit of a game. Guess which times Sweden was on my team and guess when they were on their team. Front, it's mostly dangerous from like 2 to 4 o'clock kind of on the side. Front and rear is flareable. Overall, just very solid. The gun is good. 900 rounds. FT is super light and it's not really sustainable here. So I'm gonna try to go straight up. I'm gonna try to get him directly below me with the separation here. I should be able to kind of hammerhead him, fall directly on top of him. And send them back to the hangar with relative ease to try to kill them. Then we have the countermeasures. It's 90. It's not the most amount. And it only drops one at a time. So you need to be a little bit careful. Sometimes you just simply don't have enough flares in the air. Because you thought, well, I pressed the button twice. But that's basically the equivalent of pressing it once on an F-15. So you need to be careful in hell. Now what you want to do when you find yourself in this position. You just kind of put the files out. Make sure that you nose down a little bit to pick up some speed. And then as you are like looking around with your HMD, you can just kind of R73 everyone out of the air. This is the uh, patented Cobra maneuver as we call it. But you need to make sure that you nose down after this. And then you kind of just pitch up and fly it back into the next lobby like we do right here. And we have a bit of room here. And look at this acceleration. We are simply going to leave. Now the only issue right here is uh, that there is still more of the team coming in. So, looks to be kind of okay, and then we look a bit up, and yeah. <clears throat> so instead, let's look at an example where it actually did go right. But I do want to include those clips, because, well, top tier is very much unpredictable. And sometimes you just get force your hand, you make a small misplay, and you just get completely put out of position. He launched a missile at him, and he goes back to the hangar. Now, you can tell that our speed is quite low, so we are going to dive back to the deck, because there is an F-15 coming in. I'm going to go in a little bit of an off angle. Give myself a little bit more room, space and ability to notch him. Once you start getting close enough, we pull in and we see a beautiful reversal. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to capture it. The Gripen is now a plane that you have to fly rather cautiously. It's still pretty damn thing, but it's definitely beneficial. And you can also use this to, of course, kind of stealth fire missile people across the map. Now we get locked on in the head on here and we kind of lose control. And uh, we, we do kill him. And then we uh, totally survive, just like this guy right here doing the Cobra. Everyone is doing the Cobra today. And uh, I'm going to shoot a Nord at him. Just so that I have more time to look behind me. Because I don't have to get as close as with guns. The only issue is, the Nord has a proxy range for a 20 kilogram warhead missile. But it only has 8 kilograms of warhead. So it just explodes way too quickly. So we go up to dodge... And this time I actually set up my radar properly. 8 kilometers, small spot range, locked at B-57. And I mean, it's a B-57. Now we are on another map. It's the giant volcano map, which we see basically 50 times a day. And I see a guy in orbit. And I think, well, maybe I can try to pitch up, sling an AIM-9L from below. And get a, catch him off guard. So I see the MiG-29. We are going to go defensive. We dodge the missile by kind of notching him. 
he doesn't stick which is great so we can kind of fly away from him and then as we are kind of skimming the mountain we see another missile coming in so we flare but i want to make sure to use the terrain here then we pull the and i just have to break character here for a moment because i do want to talk about that right there the tornado kind of just flies in place i was fooling pulley there i was yanking that stick like i do at you've night reached day. your limit on top but it just doesn't move Shut and that's not why that is now these things do happen every so often but on pipe pets they they happen basically every game i did 30 games and this happened about six or seven times to me and it's just absolutely it's just beautiful first you get team killed and then his teammate steals your kill this is the experience at top tier release now i'm gonna call him something in the chat but luckily i uh, i don't press enter so i didn't say it but if you're reading this yes every letter i typed was absolutely meant Group are growing, not 